Hi viewers, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. This is Asima Dudley, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Application, Don Bosco College, Kotim. This is my second lecture on the topic Data Analytics. In this session, we'll be discussing about types of data analytics applications, then data analytics process and data analysis process. So the types of data analytics applications. There are different types of applications ranging from basic to advanced. And the very basic one is business intelligence. And the next one is reporting and online analytical processing. And the advanced one is advanced analytics. And these applications are further classified into two that is, exploratory data analytic analysis and confirmatory data analysis. Exploratory data analysis means it will be working on patterns and relationships. Confirmatory data analysis means it will be using statistical techniques to understand uh, whether a statement is true or false. In simple terms, EDA can be compared to detective works and CDA can be compared, compared to the works at the trial version, at the time of trial version. Always uh, the data analytics work on existing data that is it will be performing the statistical analysis on the existing data also the data analytics will be finding a solution for current existing problems this data analytics focus on creating various ways to capture data organize the data and process on the data sets. The result of this data analysis will be simplified result and it will be giving an immediate solution and improvements. Data analytics process. The process in data analytics starts with the collection of data and before collecting the data we need to understand what type of data or what type of information is needed after collecting the data it will be transferred to respective it teams to organize the data then the data will be converted into the required format that can be transferred onto the analytics system some of the uh, data analytics uh, systems available today to analyze data are hadoop cluster no sql database etc so after collecting the data the data is then categorized stored and analyzed after analyzing the data we will be getting a valuable insight from it which will be useful for the organization and before analyzing there will be different processes like extracting the data categorizing it in an order etc and this valuable insight that we get after analyzing will be useful to increase the efficiency of the organization the different steps involved in data analysis process are the first step is to determine the data requirements or how the data is grouped that is the data can be grouped according to age demographic income or gender and the data values can be numerical or it can be divided by category the second step in data analysis process is to collect the data the data can be collected 
through various sources like computers, online sources, cameras, environmental sources or through personnel. And after collecting the data, the data should be organized that, that can be analyzed. Organizing the data means uh, typing the data in any of the softwares. We can enter the data in a spreadsheet or other forms of softwares like uh, the softwares that can take statistical data. And the last step is to clean up the data. That means to ensure that there is no duplication or error has occurred in the data. And also we can ensure that there is no incomplete data has been entered and this helps to correct any errors before the data is passed to an analyst. The questions uh, in this session are explain the types of data analytics application and the second one explain the different steps involved in data analysis. So write these questions in your notebook and forward the pictures in the WhatsApp group. Thank you.